Last week, we were looking at PTSD and the massive impact it can have on your life and the people around you. Today, we're looking at a lesser level of PTSD, which I'll call trauma. I think life has always been quite traumatising. From 500 years ago and beyond, it was like the Game of Thrones, but without the dragons. Fast forward to the last 50 years, it's such a massive difference and our worlds are much safer and secure than ever before, but our minds are still exactly the same. They still have the massive computer looking for things to protect you from. So if our life has downsized its trauma, it doesn't mean your mind will switch that side of itself off. It will still be looking for things that have a connection to things that were life-threatening for millions of years. If you got lost 500 years ago and ended up in a strange unknown place, surrounded by lots of people you don't know and absolutely no one you do, then that would have been a life or death moment. Are the people nice? Or are they working in the slave industry? Or worse still, are they cannibals? Well, in those split seconds, the mind doesn't know and often has to resort to that flight, fight or freeze response. So thankfully, this is not in our everyday life. But today, are we not describing our first day at school? If this doesn't go well, we could be left with a level of trauma. I'm not saying PTSD, but... It can hold some of the similar responses, but on a much lower level. This can lead to many life debilitating issues if our mind got stuck in a level of trauma at that point. Every day heading to school, you'd be filled with dread and foreboding. You could be feeling physically sick, headaches, anxiety, tension, to name a few. What if that doesn't change? You spend every day of our school lives this way. We then may struggle with new situations, lack confidence, fear group situations and lack the inner safety and security you need to have to live a relaxed life. As you see, the event was a one-off. We only have one first day at school. but It could be nursery, primary, moving to a new school or a new area. It could be seen in this same traumatic way for the mind. It's not the event per se that's the issue. I believe it's the habits that follow that have the biggest negative impact on your mind. If you think about the library scenario, how many books and pages of your mind will be impacted with the anxiety of going to school this way? Lots of them. As we have such a limited life experience as children, that our early learning experiences do become the building blocks of our library's foundations. And if these areas are riddled with anxiety and fear, then our perception of the world will be based from this viewpoint. Hopefully school improves and we grow from this and develop the safety and security we need to be relaxed and calm, but it doesn't mean we won't revisit this pattern in the future starting college later in life, or work could trigger this again. Our mind is always looking for similarities. Look at the library analogy. Your mind has to find a place to put everything and your mind is always checking through your library to make sure that life is safe for you. And how it's doing this is looking for similar scenarios to that first day at school. It may already be on red alert if it feels that college or that new job is similar to that first day at school scenario. And if this has happened, then it could start triggering the habits that you developed and the feelings that you experienced back then. If your first day at work didn't go well, your mind will be looking at how this pans out. And by looking at similar events in the library, voila! The habits from the past now have been brought instantly into the present. We have to understand that our mind doesn't work on time. 
or even hold the concept of time. So past, present and future are all in one. We can see that in the library analogy. Old and new books blend seamlessly onto one shelf. The shelves are based on similar experiences and have no time relevance, except possibly they may be in order by time order on the shelf, but this is not always the case for everyone's mind. Again, imagine a library. What if that section of your library doesn't have one big long shelf to hold every traumatic day heading to school? So then the books start filtering through onto the shelf below. And they hold more of this and the one below that too. Imagine the shelves and how easy it is to look from one shelf to the other, picking out books of relevance. Time is lost on the shelves. Your first day at school book could be sitting just above your new first day at work or college book. This is how your mind can easily transfer from an early event, bring that knowledge into the present day event. Great for remembering how to ride the bike if you haven't been on it for years, but pants if it's holding fear of new events and first days. The level of our response will often be measured by the amount of time it took us to get over this in the past. The more negative books building up in the library, the more that section in the library starts to take a theme. If this section of your library starts looking like the horror section, then of course your mind will try and do anything to avoid this area of the library and in turn anything in life which is similar to this. Is it the traumatic event that's still bothering us? Or maybe a small part of it. But the bigger issue here is the habit you created from that event that is causing the largest impact on your mind. Think about the library again. The first day school book. It's just one book. But how many books would there be after a month, a year or even a whole childhood feeling anxious at school? Parents, don't panic. Neither panic if you're heading for a new job or a big change in life. What you need is nice steady steps to help you move forward towards the goal. Let's use the new school scenario to explain. Before your child starts school, take them to lots of group activities which will help them start to feel more comfortable. After that, and they start getting used to that. Then start by moving further away from them in the group situation or just popping out for a moment or two. Let them adjust to the new environment of being on their own with other children and adults. Let the school know that they might, they might be a bit anxious about starting and help the teachers support your child through the process too. Arrange play days with more children, go to the soft play areas as well, even take them to group swimming or tennis lessons so they get used to being with other people. Each time you're building up a, a new image and mindset in the book of new experiences and this will help your child or you move into change with more confidence. Next week we'll continue with more on trauma and PTSD, so stay tuned for the next blog. Thanks for dropping by.